Good morning, Jaguars, and welcome back to me, Spencer Lilla. You liked me in small doses, you thought my words of wisdom were funny, but now I'm in control of this show. And I'm Riley Manwarren, the semi-normal one here. We will be your anchors for today's show. Hey, Riley, do you love explosions? Yes, but in a controlled environment. Oh, fine. Let's send it over to Abby So to learn about chemistry teacher Miss Keeney. Today, we're relatively close to chemistry teacher Miss Keeney's classroom. When you think of your favorite teacher, who do you think of? In our case, it's Miss Keeney. Let's get the inside scoop of why Miss Keeney is so awesome from Miss Keeney herself and a couple of her current and past students. What made me become a teacher? Well, actually, I didn't start out being a teacher. I went to the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, and I was a collegiate athlete. And I spent a lot of time in the field house, practicing, working out, being with my team. And when people would ask me what my major was, I said, I'm a biochemistry major, double major in biology and chemistry. They would say, oh, we thought you were a physical education major because you were always in the field house. And I said, nope. I said, I spend a lot of my day with test tubes. And they said, well, you should spend more time with people. You're really good with people. So then I started thinking, well, maybe there's a way to do both. And so here I am 38 years later, working with science and working with people as a science teacher. And I love it. So far, I think of Miss Keeney as an amazing teacher. She's probably one of the best that I've ever had. And I think it's really cool that she brings light to really important topics and teaches us teaches us more than just chemistry. She talks about really important life skills. Well, there you have it, Jags. Next time you're passing through the science hallway, try to stop by and say hi to Miss Keeney and thank her for her awesome service at Jefferson. This has been Abigail Toe reporting for Jaguar Spots. Thanks, Abby. That was a nice way to give a shout out to one of Jefferson's favorite teachers. Speaking of the staff here at Jefferson, what about the hall monitors? Let's go to Jules Dahl to learn more about the hall monitors here at Jefferson. Hi Jags, today we talked to some students and staff about the hall monitors and what they bring to Jefferson. So Chris is my favorite hall monitor. Um, they bring a lot of friendliness into the school. It's also, I see a lot of students being able to just talk to them. You know, it's more of like a friendly phase and someone they can talk to. Just talking about what you guys got going on in life, that's basically it, yeah. Also yelling at you, that's enjoyable. Okay. Day to day, um, I watch the online kids in first hour, as that's where we are right now. I write lunch tension passes, I hang out during lunch. The hall monitor is Joe. Uh, I don't know, I see him kind of more as like a friend. I don't really see him as like a like a hall staff kind of person. He kind of is super chill like that. Plus we can argue about like sports and stuff, so yeah. Um, we're here to talk about our love for hall monitors. And before we'd like to make an honorable mention to Fred. Fred is the best hall monitor there is. There's nothing he does wrong. He talks to me at lunch every day, and he complimented me on my lunch once. Fred could do anything in this world at this school, and I would vouch for him. He could commit many crimes, anything he wanted. I would still love that band. Thanks, all monitors, for all the awesome work here you do at Jefferson. This has been Julian Adal reporting for Jag Spots. Thanks, Jules. You really shed light on who the hall monitors are and what they do. But do you know what shed the light of progress on all mankind? The Renaissance, a period of scientific innovation and discovery. And what better way to celebrate the Renaissance than ye olde Renaissance Fair, where the mistrels play a heavenly chorus and the food is tantalizingly scrummy. Let's turn it over to Abby Jurek to get the inside scoop about the fair. Although today, Sunday, October 2nd, is the last day of the 2022 Renaissance Festival, we will be seeing what the festival is all about so that we can get excited for next year. Stay tuned to learn more about the Renaissance Festival and what it means to our community. Our favorite part of being here, I believe, is just being among all the people and, and celebrating with everyone. Oh my gosh, the people and the creativity, I love it. And it's just like, you feel like you're coming home and it's time of year where you can get away and just come home. Um, I just like the environment. Um, I've, we've got a lot of friends here at this point. You know, you get to know your neighbors pretty well. Um, if you need something, you lean on someone else for a hammer or drill, and they do the same with you, and you get to know people, just like any small community. Thank 
you to everyone who made this happen for our spot show and volunteered to be interviewed this morning. We are so grateful for this festival and for the connections we have here at Jefferson to be able to go places like this. This has been Abby Jurek reporting for Jaguar Spots. Thanks, Abby. With all the crazy nonsense people said in those days, it's almost like they spoke another language. In a way, yes, but in a more accurate way. The people in the foreign language department speak whole other languages. So let's turn it over to Izzy Mohammed with a story about the foreign language department. Hola, Jax. Today we're getting a closer look at the foreign languages department. Let's find out more. I was born in France. I grew up there until I was 14. Then my family moved back to the States. I love languages, so I have traveled abroad to study in Vienna so that I can perfect my German. I think Spanish is pretty important in our country. We have uh, almost 40 million Spanish speakers in, our, in the United States alone, so that's a big deal. Uh, also, my dad was a Spanish teacher, so that's how I got in the business. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to teach Spanish because it is a growing language. Um, our population of Spanish speakers is increasing and we are the second largest country with native Spanish speakers. Um, so it's a really important uh, language to know in our society. A Latin class, uh, I like to uh, give students lots of time to work and practice the language uh, in class because Whereas, you know, if you, uh, with other subjects, you can get help when you're out of class. You can't really do that uh, with Latin. So I make sure that I can be on hand to help uh, with, uh, with learning this, this language that, uh, you know, is fun and interesting, but can be challenging. Taking a foreign language class is not only fun and interesting, it is required for most colleges. So be sure to sign up for one. This has been Izzy Mohammed reporting for Jaguar Spots. Adios. Thanks, Izzy. I'm glad we could learn more about the foreign language department. Yeah, thanks for not Latin us down. And now it's time for Last, Last Minute, Minute congrats. congrats. Congratulations to the Jefferson Varsity football team for finally winning their first game of the season at homecoming, 27-7. Way to go. And congrats to everyone as we are now in the midterms of the trimester. Watch out for your grades. That's a wrap on... Our show of Jaguar Spots. This has been Spencer Lilla and Riley Manorn. Stay tuned for the credits where we will feature Spencer here on a very particular special credit session from the first day of homecoming week on a particular sweater here at Jefferson. See, See you, you next time, time Jags! Jefferson, on this, the first day of homecoming week, we have a question of critical importance to bring to you. Is this sweatshirt gray or is it white? We decided to ask students and staff here at Jefferson about their opinions. Is this sweatshirt gray or white? I say gray. Correct. <laughs> so, is this sweater White or gray? It's gray, 100%. Is this sweatshirt gray or is it white? Um, it's not white. Uh, it's, I don't even know if it's gray. It's actually, it's kind of like a charcoal -y. But I'm going to go gray. It's those are my two choices. I'm going to go gray. <laughs> I have the student costumer for JTC, and I would like to ask the question, is this sweatshirt gray or white? As the student costumer of JTC, I can say the sweater is gray. 